Welcome to Learning with Philemon. I'm very excited to start this playlist as spectroscopy is my favorite topic in chemistry. In the previous playlist, we saw how we can synthesize different organic molecules. However, after synthesis, we need to check if we made the products we intended. To do this, we can use various spectroscopic techniques. Using a technique called elemental analysis, we can determine the mass of each element in a compound. This allows us to calculate the empirical formula. For more on this, please watch the video Empirical and Molecular Formulae. With the empirical formula, we can calculate the index of hydrogen deficiency, or IHD, of the compound. The IHD tells us how unsaturated a compound is. A saturated compound contains the maximum amount of hydrogen atoms. For this to occur, there can be no double or triple bonds or rings. An unsaturated compound contains double or triple bonds or a ring. The IHD number calculated tells us how many hydrogen molecules would need to be added to the compound to obtain a saturated and acyclic compound. An alkane, such as butane, has an IHD of zero. This is because the carbon atoms are already bonded to the maximum amount of hydrogen atoms possible you cannot add any more hydrogen molecules. Compounds that contain one double bond have an IHD of 1. For example, ethene has an IHD of 1. To saturate ethene with hydrogen atoms, you would need to add one hydrogen molecule. This would entail breaking the double bond and each carbon bonding to one hydrogen atom. This would form the saturated molecule ethane. Notice that ethene and ethane differ only by two hydrogen atoms. Each ring in a compound also counts as one IHD. Cyclobutane has a molecular formula of C4H8. Its acyclic version is butane, C4H10. There is a difference of two hydrogen atoms between the molecular formulae. So cyclobutane requires one hydrogen molecule to become a saturated acyclic compound. Note that we are just looking at this theoretically. We are not describing the reaction conditions necessary to convert cyclobutane to butane. A triple bond counts as two IHD. For example, ethine would have to react with two hydrogen molecules to form ethane. Now let's take a look at how you can determine IHD from structural and empirical formulae. If you are given the structural formula of a compound, you can count the number of rings, double and triple bonds. The example below contains two double bonds, a carbon-carbon double bond and a carbon-oxygen double bond. The compound also contains a ring. This could be a four-membered, five or six-membered ring, for example. Adding up, we get an IHD of three. In IB exams, the compounds in question often contain a benzene ring it helps us to draw the ring using Kekulé's structure. Although we know that benzene doesn't actually contain three carbon-carbon double bonds. For more on this, please watch the video Structure of Benzene. Using Kekulé's structure, we count three double bonds and a ring. So benzene has an IHD of four. You can calculate the IHD if you only have the empirical formula from elemental analysis or the molecular formula from mass spectrometry. There are two ways to do this. One way is to use the following equation, where C is the number of carbon atoms, N is the number of nitrogen atoms, H is the number of hydrogen atoms, and X is the number of halogen atoms in the empirical or molecular formula. Let's say a compound has the molecular formula C6H5NO2. Substituting the number of atoms of each element, we get the following calculation. The IHD is equal to 5. The compound I had in mind was niacine. You can see that it has 4 double bonds and 1 ring. If you do not remember this equation in a test or exam, you can also draw a possible structural formula. For example, if you have the molecular formula C3H5NO, you could draw the skeletal formula below. There are two double bonds, so the molecule has an IHD of two. Note that there are many possible structures that could be drawn 
with the same molecular formula. Here are some other options. No matter which structure you draw, the IHD is always 2 for this molecular formula. In 2-hydroxypropane nitrile, there is a triple bond. In 2-azetidinone, there is a double bond and a ring. In all three cases, the IHD is equal to 2. To consolidate your learning, try to use both methods, the equation and drawing, to determine the IHD from a formula. You can also practice by determining the IHD of any structural or skeletal formula given. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.